Hello everyone, welcome to uh, another tutorial video. This is the second video in a series on decentralizing and distributing the internet. So in this video I'm going to be featuring the Beaker browser, which is a browser we can use to look at dat files and share files peer-to-peer. -peer. So first I'm going to open Google Chrome. Um, this is a browser everyone is familiar with and you can see all the usual things you'd see Google search bar I have a bunch of my favorites here and I have lots of folders with a lot of bookmarks so bookmarks are definitely the best way to manage a browser um, keeping track of everything that's important to you and good sites that you've seen and for me that's one of the key functions of a browser so Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that in Beaker. So first thing we can just open up Beaker and it's going to direct us to the start page. So this is my home page. And here you can see I have already pinned a bunch of bookmarks. So the great thing about this is that you can just drag your bookmarks and rearrange them into the order of things as they are important to you. So that to me is already one of the first awesome functions. Um, and next let's go ahead and bookmark some pages. So let's go to Yahoo. And you can use browser exactly the same as you would use any other browser. Um, their default search engine or the, the bound search engine now is DuckDuckGo, which is a very cool privacy browser. Anyway, so here we are now, and we are at the Yahoo page. And let's se select some English for some people. And uh, now we want to bookmark this page. So all you have to do is either click the star or press Control D. Now once you click the star, it brings up the edit bookmark. And here, the best practice is to make some tags. And this will help you filter your content later. So I'll just go ahead and say Yahoo. And I will also add another tag of mail, just in case I want to use Yahoo Mail. And then I could pin it straight to my start page, but in this case I'm not really interested. So let's go find something else. Surfing. And here I would like to browse this site and I think this is awesome bookmark it just the title and give yourself a tag surfing or sports or whatever else you find it will be a good reference for you later on alright so now that we have two bookmarks you can open your bookmarks um, page from your settings menu on the right hand in the right hand top corner click on bookmarks and here we have our long well my long list of bookmarks which is nothing compared to what I had on Google Chrome and for most people this does look a little confusing but we've got our handy tags so you can either select them up in this corner and here we have them all. If I wish to look something about blockchain, here I have blockchain. And games and whichever other tags you have defined. And you can make as many as you want. So this is really a fantastic feature of Beaker Browser. And uh, it already makes it better than previous browsers. I'm not cluttered with a bookmarks bar. You have more space and it's really easy to find anything alright so the next thing that I'd like to show people is oh sorry here I have my pinned bookmarks and those are the ones that I would find on my start page so it's easy to pin and unpin once you see a web page or anything without a description without a tag then you could simply just click the edit tag and I will just put in a tag there to make it easier to find it later. Let's put this one on Beaker. 
and in that way you can make sure that all your things are tagged and easy to find. So this is the first feature, bookmarks, fantastic. The next feature I'd like to show is how to share or seed the websites that you browse to. So when you get to a website that has a dat prefix, then it means you can share this website from your computer in the event that all the Beaker browser servers or all the computers that host this website, if they are all down, we would not be able to see the site. But that's why you can click up in this uh, share corner and here we can decide to seed this website so that it can also be served from my computer. And you can choose to seed it for one day, one week, a month or forever. This is a great site, very important project and I am more than happy to seed this forever. You can also see that it's only 10 megabytes so that is really not much space to uh, sacrifice on your hard drive um, to keep projects up and running. The reason for this is in the event that I host a site and I will show you my site. So this is my site that is hosted from on DAT. If I am not online then the site will not be available unless there is another person that is seeding it. Currently no one is seeding my site so if I am offline then no one will be able to browse this site. Um, so that's why it's a good idea as soon as you find a site that you like just click on the seed button and decide for how long you would like to support that site. Alright and then most people would think that you'd get or eventually you would see too many sites and waste a lot of space. For this Beaker has made our management very very easy. You go to your settings tab, select uh, sorry, select your settings and then here you can go to your DAT network activity. Here are all the seeds, or, sorry, all the sharing files that I have created. These are my DAT objects and then you can click on seeding and this shows the other websites, the DAT websites that I am currently seeding and you can sort them by size or last updated by the amount of peers and in that way you can see which sites um, have, a, have a lot of chance to stay online. And if you want to see what you're seeding you can just click on it and it'll direct you straight to the site and it's easy to just break your subscription or you can just click on that little tab there and then it stops seeding that particular website. Alright, so that is all that I have for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for some more videos on how to create and share that objects with the browser. And uh, subscribe, hit like, and download Beaker, and try to share some links.